is so for the love of flowers. Voila! I always keep myself busy. So these leaves are extremely um, dry. I've cut them up and I separate them for a very for a week and I let them dry out basically these little tiny ones they actually can grow too I normally divide my leaf up so that way I can always make more plants so if you put this in the ground like this or in the pot like this um, they will grow and basically I tend to want to have multiple in one pot um, so that way when I watered them I can ensure that if one doesn't take root the other will so that's another reason why um, I have pots that have three different colors of plants or four different colors of plant Okay, so to continue the process of propagating Ipliplium, I have here all of these in their pot. There are tiny leaves that I propagate. This one is super duper cute. It's very little. Um, but the bigger leaves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to divide the leaf out, which means that I'm going to cut the leaf like this one here I'm gonna cut it into like three pieces and when you cut the leaf um, it will grow this this is a very hardy plant actually and it's very easy to propagate you don't have to use hor uh, rooting hormones or anything like that so basically I'm just gonna cut it diagonally like this or horizontally and then just break just break it in to pieces like this and this one I'm just gonna cut it like so and this one I'm gonna cut it like so and this one I'm gonna cut it up like that at an angle so that way when you put it in the soil it's easier for it to take root for you. So cut it in an angle like that. And you just stick it in the ground. Trim it. Trim it. Trim it up. Like that. Trim it up. and then stick it into the ground. And just cut it. And you cut, cut it up like that, like that. like that and this I'm just gonna stick that down in the soil
and then now you just stick it into a pot and stick them into the soil and you have plenty of hippolyum um hippolyum <laughs> so basically get a pot of soil I like to use this soil because this retains a lot of moisture and you don't have to worry about um, water them constantly. So basically trying to put different cutting in different pots. because in these cuttings I have three different colors so I don't know which one's which and when I pot them I try to keep the three different colors in one pot but that's how I do it and at the end of the day once everything is done you're gonna end up with a whole lot of plants So that's how I do it and it's very easy it's very simple you just have to have lots of pots and lots of soil my life.
since I'm about to run out of soil, about to run out of pots, I'm gonna have to plant four into a pot. Um, but So I am actually not going to water this until next week because I want to make sure the the epilium they are a cactus like plant. So they like to be you want to make sure to dry them out now that I stuck them into the soil and um as you can see that I do have a lot from all the cutting that I took from one plant I've made a lot of plants out of the cuttings so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to put them in a shaded area and I'm gonna water them once a week but this week I'm gonna let them stay in the soil stay in a pot until they have um, they 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 germinate themselves um, and take root because these are not the soil for cactus plant this is actually normal soil for your garden um, I ran out of cactus plant soil so they're basically sitting in with the soil that it's already moist and so I don't want to add any more water to them because they are cactus and I want them to germinate and take roots I don't want them to basically um, get rotted on me so um, that's one thing that I, I don't want to happen but that's a lot of plants. <laughs> 